الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي جعلنا كلمة طيبة أصلها ثابت وفرعها في السماء تؤتي أكلها كل حين بإذن ربها وهي كلمة التقوى التي ألزمها الله علينا وصلى الله على رسوله خاتم الأنبياء والرسل محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد قال الله تعالى في قرآنه المجيد بعد أن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أفضل الذكر لا إله إلا الله أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام The great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has gathered us in this gathering and this majlis where we remember him and only him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ That you remember me and I will remember you. And in a hadith, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in a hadith of Qudsi that when a person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding that أنا عند ظني عبدي بي I am to my slave what he thinks of me if he remembers me alone then I remember him by myself but if he remembers me in a gathering then I remember him in a gathering better what in the gathering of malaika and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't say oh such people he takes names that this person this so and so person is remembering me and I'm remembering him amongst the malaika and the person that consistently remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are so many benefits so many virtues for remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the one who consistently remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his du'as are accepted more often he has a higher chance of acceptance of his prayer than a person that doesn't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we say you know you have a good friend and you consistently remember him you talk to him or you thank him for everything that he does for you you do he does you ask him can you do me a favor can you help me out and after he does the favor for you you thank him you know you, t you talk good about him what happens the next time you ask him for another favor he'll be ready to do it again but let's say you call one person and you ask him for help, ask him for a favor and he does that favor upon you but after that you never talk to him again, you never talk good about him the next time you might ask him for a favor he might decline why? because you don't you didn't thank him it is the same connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we ask him for forgiveness, we ask him to forgive us that we've done such a sin or when hardship comes upon us we call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when there is no hardship and when he has helped us, we forget about him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِ فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً دَنْكَ وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى The one who forgets, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِ The one who forgets my, my remembrance. فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً دَنْكَ That we will make his life narrow. This dunya, we will make his living narrow. We all, subhanAllah, a person's day-to-day -day life already has problems, either small or big. But he, when he forgets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those small problems that he has, they are so heavy upon him. It's very small, it's nothing. But because he doesn't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consistently, those same light problems that people pass through day-to-day, -day, they become heavy upon him, they become narrow. Earning halal becomes hard upon this person. Calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes hard upon, upon this person. His whole life day to day becomes narrow. And on the day of judgment, this person will be blind. And he will ask Allah, Qala, Rabbi, lima hashartani a'ma? Oh my Allah, I, I am blind. Waqad kuntu basira. And in the life, I could see. I was able to see every everything, every, everyone. But on the day of judgment, I am blind. 
لما حشرتني أعمى وقد كنت بصيرة قال كذلك أتتك آياتنا because you are blind because you forgot of, of our signs the signs we have brought the signs we have shown to you you forgot them فَنَسِيتَهَا وَكَذَلِكَ الْيَوْمَ تُنْسَى and we are doing the same to you today we are forgetting may Allah protect us from this for forgetting the zikr the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like, like I said in the beginning وَالذَّاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ أَعَدَّ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا that he who remembers the zakir the believing men and the believing women when they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives them in a hadith Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that a sahabi came and asked O oh, Prophet of Allah advise me advise me the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that if you tend to do a sin then quickly repent then quickly repent and do a good deed because why when you do a bad deed when you do a sin the effect of it comes to your heart and your heart becomes dark so Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said what that right after after that you do a good deed inna al hasanati yuzhibna sayyiat the good good <coughs> subhanallah the good deeds that you do will take away that bad feeling of the sin inna al hasanati yuzhibna sayyiat that's when nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam is pointing to, to this sahaba that when you do a bad deed quickly do a good so that the, the bad, the darkness of that sin doesn't sit in your heart. Then the Sahabi asked, Ya Rasulullah, if I do the zikr of La ilaha illallah, if I recite La ilaha illallah, is that good enough? What did Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said? That this is the best, the, this is the best deed you can do after doing a sin, is remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may Allah give us tawfiq to consistently remember him and not, re and not make us blind on the day of judgment and protect us and give us the status that he has said وَالذَّاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ أَعَدَّ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا and make us from the zakirin may Allah give us tawfiq to act upon whatever has been said أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِسَائِرِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَ